Hello, my name's Anne Levitt from Avago Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to make a willow and tissue paper lantern. To do this I'm going to be using willow that I buy from a commercial grower. I buy this in bulk for when I'm working on larger sculptures. From the long willow whips I'm going to cut seven shorter pieces measuring between 18 and 20 inches. I'm going to form one of the whips that's been pre-soaked to make it more flexible into a circle, just a little bit smaller than a dinner plate. I have a board with pre-cut pieces of masking tape on. This just makes it easier for handling when securing the willow. Bend this into a circle shape and starting with one end of the masking tape I'm going to press that firmly onto the willow and this leaves a tail of tape that can be wrapped around the willow several times to make it secure. Press it down firmly. This willow is still quite springy so I'm going to put a second piece on using the end of the masking tape. Press it onto the willow which leaves a tail of tape that can be wrapped around several times and there you have your your circle. To cut off willow that's not needed I'm going to use wire cutters but you can use garden secateurs or strong kitchen scissors and holding firmly onto the piece that I'm going to cut off and cut through. And again with this piece, holding it firmly because it will fly off. And cutters and cut through. And there you have your circle. So I have my seven upright pieces and my base of the lantern. I've also got a cable tie, which I'm going to use to secure the top of the lantern. And a piece of wire ordinary green garden wire that will form the handle on the top. Now taking the circle, balance it onto the table and holding it secure with your thumb. This allows your fingers to be free to hold on to the upright pieces. So hold them firmly in place, take a piece of tape and using one end again press it on and wrap it around the two pieces of willow and press tightly. I'm going to put a second piece on going in the opposite direction just to make sure that it's secure. This can be a bit fiddly but you soon get used to working with willow. So there you have your first upright. I'll do that one again, put a second one on, hold the circle firmly with your thumb so that your fingers are free for the second upright. Hold it firmly in place, take a piece of tape, press it onto the willow and wrap it several times around the two pieces. And there you have your second upright. And in true Blue Peter style, here's one I did earlier with all the uprights taped in place. They're quite evenly spaced. And I'm going to take the cable tie, wrap that around the top, thread it through on itself and pull it tight securing all the pieces together. At this point I like to put a piece of wire in to form the handle. So thread it down through the cable tie and the willow pieces. Twist both ends together to create your handle. Put it back through. There you have your handle on the top. Just going to snip off the cable tie because we don't need that bit. 
Now we're going to be covering this in wet strength tissue paper, which is this stuff here. It does have to be wet strength tissue paper. Ordinary wrapping, gift wrapping tissue, it just doesn't take well with the glue. And we're going to secure this onto the uprights of the lantern. And to make sure that it doesn't fall through, I'm going to add another smaller circle onto the frame just to give the tissue some more support. And again, here's one that's ready. It's been taped around. Wherever two pieces of willow cross each other, that's where you put a piece of tape. Now using wet strength tissue paper, which I buy from the same uh, growers from the willow farm, I have a tub with a mixture of PVA glue and water, about half and half. I'm going to wipe off the excess off the sponge. It's just an ordinary kitchen sponge. You can use a brush to brush it on, but with a sponge you get an even coverage and it's much quicker. So taking your first piece of tissue paper, lay it on the table and gently smooth over with the sponge. Using both hands, lift up the corners of the tissue and peel it off the board. If you don't use both hands and you try and pick it up with one corner, it will fold up on itself and then you spend quite a few minutes trying to disentangle it. So the best way is to pick it up two corners and then smooth it onto your willow frame. If you start at the top, Smooth it onto the first upright. It's quite robust, this tissue. You can, it allows you to pull it around and smooth it on. And there's your first piece of tissue. Taking your second piece, again, lay it onto the table. There's enough glue left in the sponge, so I don't need to apply any more. Press it onto the tissue, smooth it over. A nice even coverage. Again, using two corners, peel it off the table and apply it to the willow frame, slightly overlapping the first piece that you put on. Fold it around the willow and smooth it on to get a nice tight coverage. I think I'll put one more piece on just to show Again, smooth the sponge over the over the tissue. Nice even coverage. Using both hands and two corners, peel off the tissue and place it overlapping the first pieces that you put on. Pull it as tight as possible and smooth it down. Now this will dry naturally in a couple of hours. Um, and it will dry tight and it will become solid. Once you get to this stage, this can then be decorated or left plain, which is quite pretty. You can use Sharpies, felt pens, paint even. Uh, you can also put on ordinary tissue paper, coloured tissue paper, cut out shapes to decorate it. Uh, I'm going to leave this one blank. I've put inside a battery pack. I've just taped it in, in place. Um, and some pretty lights inside. I'm not sure that they're gonna show up in daylight, but they are really quite pretty once the lights are on and it's dark outside. I hope you enjoyed the video and I shall see you soon. Thank you very much, bye.